right there, man. Well, I never need a whole lot of room, do I? Nope. Who was the only person that did a donut in your old shop and didn't hit the tree? You. There you go. I hit the tree once. What's up, everybody? It's Monday, the day of the eclipse, April 8th, and uh, we got all the rigs out. Ricky mostly brought his camper and his trailer with some dirt bikes and stuff. Uh, Mike Ford's all rigged out in uh, his uh, minivan with uh, his motorcycles. We got the Sprinter ready. I've been challenged by John Clay Wolf, so we're going out to his place, the W6 Ranch, and going to raise some hell. Supposedly, he's got a 10-mile track out there, and uh, we're going to get after it, have some fun, drink some beers after that, maybe barbecue, and then we're going to see the eclipse. That's when the sun goes between, no, the moon. I, I don't know, but it's something that happens up there, and it's going to be pretty cool. It makes it all dark. It makes all the animals want to go to sleep. So uh, watch this. <laughs> Well, here we go. Nerves are kicking in. There's a lot of people. So we brought everybody. We got Daphne and Fifi, Ken, my wife, Margaret. There's another car missing still. They probably got lost getting out here, dude. <laughs> this was way off the beaten path. Well, that's what it's supposed to be. These guys look serious. Why do I feel like you're cheating? Who are all these guys? <laughs> I'm not cheating. Todd Slavic. Good to meet you. Up, Good to meet you. Good to meet you. How you doing, David? David. Richard, how are you? Hayden, Frank, guys. Hey, Andrew, nice right to meet you. Pleasure. Todd is old BMXer from way back. If you're in a BMX, you remember his name. Hayden is the really good motor car. Well, they're all good. <laughs> but Hayden's won the national enduro title. This is Texas. This is Texas. Texas, 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 Texas enduro yeah. pro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Nine. Only nine. Only nine. Only nine. I lost track. Frederick used to be good, then he started drinking too much. But he's still good <laughs> in spirit. There's nothing wrong. Right on. He's good in spirit. I don't know what to expect, honestly. And this isn't really the kind of riding I do. I do flat track and sport bike riding. This is motocross, so this is more up their alley than mine, but I'm here to have a good time. That's all so, it is, it's just having some good fun time. That's what people that are gonna lose say. So we're just here to have a good time. <laughs> About to do some moto, yeah. Getting closer to the roots here. Gonna go out there and see if I don't get tired in three seconds. Maybe can get three minutes. Y'all didn't know Gas Monkey Motorcycle Team was back already. <laughs> it's, it's a different level though, yeah. not in the good way. Yeah, this is, oh, this is the retirement team. Yeah. Cramp B team. Team Cramp. F and A, Fat and L. <laughs> no, that's F and O. <laughs> F and L, Fat and Lazy. Mike don't have no hair. I feel like I need to shave my head for, you know, sweat control. Dude, help. I wish I would have cut my hair. I'm telling you. Oh, Kenny's screwed. Look at his hair. Kenny's fucked. <laughs> it's already hot. I have to put that thing off for that He's long. Shit, wait. <laughs> oh! Oh, He's doing a modeling oh, shot. Wow. He looks like one of the models. <laughs> Got goon gear and a fucking 120. Yep. <laughs> Got TTR. Exploratory lap first. That'd be great. That's four laps. I just want to do three. <laughs> Come on, man. It's only 10 miles. Shouldn't take you more than. No, four minutes. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Four laps is 40 miles. Well, what's wrong with that? That's a lot. So, are you guys ready? I mean, y'all, you know, yeah. my, my name is on the line here. This is Team Gasma. Yeah. Don't make me look bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you look bad. Well. You just might not win. <laughs> I mean, this was a, it was kind of set up from the beginning. Like, well, we're kind of all here, so I guess we're already winners. Yeah, absolutely. There it's, you go. It's gonna be a fun day no matter what. Yeah, if you don't like it, you can get your ass back in the truck and go to work. <laughs> no, I like I like riding. You like it? You like it better here? <laughs> yeah. Hundred miles. <laughs> yeah, you said four or five laps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, all right. We'll get out there and be safe and uh, don't hurt yourselves because uh, I need you working. Race and be careful. Win for Gas Monkey, but be careful so you can work tomorrow. I'm just worried about the soreness tomorrow. Oh, we're fucked tomorrow. We can't walk. 100% and we're all rolling hey. in on Richard scooters. He's hey. got three of them, so we're good. You bet your ass I'm going to call in and say I got food poisoning. <laughs> food poisoning oh, tomorrow. That's funny, that's funny. <laughs> it's called the track flu. When you don't show up for work the next day, you got the track flu. Well, I might not show up tomorrow because I'm going to have some cold beers while y'all are running around on dirt bikes. That's what I need right now to calm my nerves down. Well, I need one cold beer. You know, you can't be drinking and riding. Damn it. It's not. There's no DWRs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's be honest. Be careful out there. Safety's first. This is rocky and it's slick. 
For those of you who have not ridden the course, give yourself a little time to get used to it. I've got a starting line cut up in the grass up here. We're going to start from the starting line and the starting motion is going to be real simple, okay? <clears throat> this is about 15 seconds, this is about 10 seconds, and then I'm going to drop it, okay? This isn't an AMA sanctioned event. If any of y'all take off before I drop my arms, I'm going to hit you with a rock in the head when you pass me, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. So here we go. First line. annual John Clay Wolf's cross country ball. race with Gas Monkey, and uh, all of us are fat and old. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> hey, don't for the win. Uh, it's gonna determine after the first corner where I'm at, and if I have arm pump already after the first corner. I'm going for Wednesday. <laughs> I'm going for Wednesday, not the win. Just I want to make it to Wednesday. I do. starting line we're fixing to get going they're fixing the ribbon and uh this it's already started to start the eclipse we're about uh, a quarter of the way in and uh, we're going to finish this race right as it goes totality so get you some of that I didn't have any faith in me. I made one lap. Some people didn't even make that. So, I pretty much they ran off and left me, and then uh, I got lost. Do you know where we're going? Clearly not the right way to go. Kelsey got lost. There was a split back there, and I went this way. We maybe should have gone the other way. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck we're at. So, we decided it was probably safer just to come back and drink beer. So we're here. 
I'll take the L on this one, but a win on the first beer. <laughs> so uh, Kenny and Mike Coy are out. Uh, so far, uh, Ricky came in third on the first lap, and uh, I hear a lot of motorcycles running all over this giant piece of land. And remember, it's a 10-mile track, and we are, it's like about 20 minutes to the full eclipse. The, what do they call it? The totality. <laughs> If nobody's got hurt, they're doing fine. <laughs> God, I hope you got that on camera. <laughs> yeah, if nobody got hurt, they're doing good. I think you're losing. I'm 100% losing. I ate shit a while ago and fucked my arm up. Oh, wow. Super cool. John Clay, you're a true American badass because I caught you and you fucking walked me again. So, woo! It is gone. Look at how dark it is. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Take the picture. Take the picture. They're racing in this out there. Yeah. Do it. Do Do what the heart desires. If they want to do it. Oh no! Whoa! Look at that. Are you kidding me? This is fucking awesome. right one guy stopped because he couldn't see one guy's come in finished all three laps couple guys came in didn't finish all three laps and uh, it got real dark up here above the trees so imagine how dark it was down there when the uh, path of totality descended upon this great valley here in the state of Texas I got garage beers for any of my people that come across That's our boy Ricky. I think he's in a solid third place, maybe even second. I'm not sure who all finished everything. I got one question for you. Did it get dark down there? Yeah, it got real dark. It, it got, got real wood. dark. Well, pick your flavor. Woo! I go with lime. Going with the lime. Oh my Cheers, god. Cheers, buddy. That's badass, wasn't it? Oh my god. Those guys are gnarly. That's that, a was, that was the gnarliest thing I've ever done, riding in the woods when the sun goes down. No. 
during an eclipse. The sun was still up there. <laughs> you did it, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. It got so dark I had to take my tinted goggles off. My boots are full of water. My butthole's you red. Yourself? It's raw. No. <laughs> no. Boots are full of water and his butthole's red. No, there you go. Commentary from Ricky. Oh my God. They didn't invite us out here to race. They invited us out here to quit. <laughs> <laughs> that is not. I figured he already quit. No, no, he's, he's still out there. I saw him go around in a he, second. Hey, he said he fell three or four times. Cheers, brother. Thank you. Take a break. Talk to your lovely wife. I'm gonna go back up here where Man, the crawfish are. I tell you what, not getting to take a sight lap, riding completely blind with some true. Man, that was that was really tough. I didn't know where I was going. And then when I thought I knew where I was going, I would just blow it because it wouldn't be where I think I was going and I was trying to go fast. That was tough. This is the gnarliest thing I've ever done. I can't move my hands. <laughs> Let's celebrate with a garage beer. I can't even hold it. <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> I don't know who's the gizzy anyway. Last place you get an empty drink. You want that? Well, I felt like I was out there by myself for the past know, fucking dude. hour. I was like, everybody leave, go home. Like, am I on the? Am I going in the right place? Am I even on the same property that Couldn't I started? Couldn't see off? when the thing took off, dude. I've never rode a recluse clutch, and I probably never will again. Yeah, that's the most miserable riding I've ever done. Yeah, it was pretty miserable. I felt for you. It beats you. It's awful. Bro. It be, the recluse it, clutch is boo, boo, well, boo, boo. that and this track punishes speed. Absolutely punishes you if you try to go fast. Well, I was trying to cruise and it still wasn't working. So These guys are wicked. I should have known better than that. And they, this was a setup. Bro. I didn't quit. A good job. I, I, I fell like 50 times. <laughs> I fell so many times. I can't touch that. out there, dude. Whoa! Cold beer for you. The fish. Yeah. <laughs> what's up? What's up? How was it out there, man? Dude, it was a lot of fun, but my hands got wet the first lap. First lap. Well, well you're wearing gloves. I went to the, that was a problem. They didn't ever dry. Look, they're just like pruned up. So I was just trying to hold on the whole time. <laughs> I'm really not that tired. Like, I mean, I'm, I was out of breath, but still probably could have went. I don't, really don't have arm pump. I just couldn't hold the grip. You guys it was crushed fun. it. You finished. On a course that these guys knew and John designed. John didn't finish. Uh, he broke uh, his uh, shifter and uh, I had beat to cut John. Out. Yeah. Oh, that's good because I fell behind him and he disappeared and I thought he just beat me that bad. <laughs> Ricky said that if this was snow skiing, that that's a black diamond. The track was pretty fucking gnarly. <laughs> uh, the rocks beat my ass. I wasn't right because I yeah. like every time I'd come in there, like everything was so slick, the rocks would just knock the bars out of my hand. Yeah. Every single time. Did it get dark during the eclipse? I couldn't see it. Fucking Nobody thing. could, man. I took my goggles off yeah, and was just could. riding around. I was like, fuck! I stopped and looked at the yeah. fucking thing. I took the camera and held it up and looked at it. <laughs> Did you notice the light on your motorcycle at all before the eclipse? The one on the handlebar? Yeah. No. I know, that thing was a glow so in yeah. the eclipse. I was like... Did you have a headlight? No. Uh -uh. You didn't ride that bike? Uh-uh, I rode 350. Yeah, How no. did you do that and not mess up your hair? You know. That was what was hard, is actually trying to do the course and keep my hair all good. You there know? you go. Well, I know you guys are hungry, so get up here and get some burgers and crawfish and corn and potatoes. I felt for you, man. <sighs> it's all because of this. I wasn't like this until I started drinking beer. <laughs> so, cheers, guys. My boys finished all three laps on a fun. track they've never that seen. That was fun. That was described as hell on uh, Earth. Uh, Ricky actually said that uh, if it was snow skiing, it would be a black diamond. Yeah. And he said that you didn't invite him out here to race, you invited him out here to quit racing. <laughs> and I did ask y'all to come yesterday to practice, but no, everybody's too smart for that. No, no, it's not that they're too smart. These guys are married with kids and stuff. <laughs> but it's a, uh, that, that track's a beating. Yes. Yes, I will yes. give it to you. You said it was rough. I wasn't expecting it to be that rough. Thanks for finishing, not making a gas monkey look bad. You were out there racing for the monkey, and uh, I appreciate it so much so that I'm going to let you eat some of uh, John Clay's food and drink his beer. <laughs> so let's get after it. Let's go. <laughs> what about uh, Mike and Ken here? They, they Mike banned? Mike and Kenny, yeah, Mike, they're, right they're excommunicate. Oh, it's tough being the winner, champion, first one off the track. Is that what they define the champion? Just the first one off the track? Well, I mean, 
like basically I got lost. It's time to give away the Golden Cock Award. Oh. It's the first annual W6 cross country race. First place, of course, of course, duh, goes to Hayden Franklin. Thanks, sir. And Good job. just to show style points, Hayden stopped each lap and slammed a beer while he was waiting on everybody I to catch up. That. That's pretty good style point. Second place goes to the cowboy, Mr. BMX Pretty Boy, Todd Slavic. Third place goes to Ricky Mosley, and this is a really good one because he hadn't ridden in a long time. Go Ricky! Oh, Ricky! Gas Monkey representing the Gas Monkey brand. <laughs> now remember, sorry Ricky, the other two are Team GMTV. Gas Monkey did get third place. But dude, I mean for you to fucking do that after not riding in that many years, that's pretty strong. Yeah, Thank but you. technically he's first because those two were ringers you brought in. You brought in ringers, man. No, no, no. Not fair. I'm old. I'm old. He's older. Now, wait, wait, you, no. you got a ringer too, you just gotta get him in shape. You gotta get your ringer and you gotta ring him out and get him up and get him ready. So next year you gotta get your ringer ready. Because your ringer can run with these guys if he's in shape. Well there's not gonna be an eclipse next year. Eh, well, I think we need to do it again anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you guys, John. Yeah. Rick ain't got a golden cup. And Josh, you get nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Bird, Josh, um, here. Get the tomato award. At least he finished. <laughs> he did finish. It's time to get you in shape, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Not eating these. <laughs> So check this out. You guys have seen me do some business with Ron over the years. I mean, I've bought a GTO from him. Uh, we bought the Texas Skidmark original truck from him also. Uh, so we've always bought and sold uh, a lot of Shelbys and things like that. But he brought me something new today and uh, I think you're gonna dig it. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on, things? dude? You doing all right? Right on. I brought my son with me if you didn't mind. What's Zach? up, dude? Zach, Zach how you doing? So are you going to follow in daddy's footsteps? Nah, he's he's going to law school. All oh, right, on. <laughs> I need a good lawyer. There you go. Hey, there you go. Uh, so you've been working but, on this. Yep. Tell me what, what I'm looking at. Absolutely. So about five, six years ago, I had a passion project. As you know, we've worked together doing uh, other bodies and, and cars. And uh, this was one dear to me. So we ended up taking an original uh, Volkswagen bus bodies and we completely disassembled them, redid some of the tooling on them. And as you can see here, we actually came back in and resurrected a complete brand new body that as you can see by even to the gaps and, and all the brackets, you actually have everything here you would need to build something only needing parts to either glue or bolt on. Other than that, it's all here. So this is a full 59. It can be the different years. This particular one has the extruding uh, turn signals. So they had different uh, years for that style, but yes, this is an early, early model. 23 window, walkthrough with a sunroof. So you've wow. got the desirable walkthrough on the inside of the bus, all the, all the glass around it, and you got the complete sunroof. This one here is the one that, if all original, 100% fully restored, quarter million dollars. But now you've got something you can either make as something that's custom without having to buy an expensive one or maybe even resurrect an original and you got but this is all brand complete, new every two spec yes. based on an original absolutely gapped completely assembled welded with spot welders um there are a couple that had gone out there that weren't uh um in the beginning that that uh not by us that people try to manufacture but we spent extra time to get this absolutely right and down to spec and and so a client could literally if they wanted to they could paint this thing and then at that point, assemble it without and even having to do too much body work at all. You can buy just about every single piece that goes on one of these, right? Oh yeah. Brand yeah. new, reman. Every freaking thing, absolutely. It's all, even you got, you know what these here, these are for the little bump stops for when you open the door so the, the, the door doesn't hit the body. All you gotta, you buy these little pieces, they screw right in. We got everything, the glass, it just goes right in. You can buy all the seals, all the glass, you can either buy the materials or have the materials made for the interior. Every freaking piece on this thing, there's about three companies out there. You go online, buy everything you need. Right out of a catalog, right online. Yeah, but what's cool about this is you're not going to spend, you know, uh -uh. weeks or months doing metal work or replacing uh, rust. Nope. I mean, 
literally a little bit of a primer, block it, primer and paint. That's exactly what we focused on on all of our bodies that we do. Now, you got a, your company is Iconic uh, Manufacturer Design, Correct. right? But they can call you not only for a whole body, but for like if they need a door or they need a front end or how's yeah, that work? We, we do, we can work with that, but honestly, we love building the bodies and that's because we have a lot more control of getting everything lined up. If we sell a door to a client or something and there's it's not, may tweak. not fit theirs yeah. and they, they may blame the door. We really focus on building the bodies, whether it's the Fastbacks, Broncos styles, Volkswagens. We, that's, that's our specialty and we want to stick with that. Man, this is super freaking rad because I mean, everybody wants these. Oh yeah. And they are, they have gotten really expensive. And then most of the ones that are expensive are just basic restorations that are really too nice and clean to drive and have some fun with. This one you could hop up with some wheels and suspension and a little bit tougher motor, maybe even water cool it with a Subaru out back and stuff like that. See, you're already thinking of the ideas what you can do with it. But that that's the goal is to give somebody a clean slate that they can come up with their own ideas on how to build how they want to without having to spend all the money on a rusted one and spending just as much money to fix it. And then, I mean, I'm not saying this isn't for the purist, but this is for people who want to build what they want. And, and that's what we're focusing on. And, and anybody can build this body however they want to build it. That's the passion behind the car business and, and what we do. And this one's for me. Super this one is absolutely for you. I We talked about this one a while back and we finally got her wrapped up and, and here you go brother you can order these things uh done ready to rock and roll the second it gets to your shop you basically bolt it together right yeah i mean it comes on this you get it shipped pick it right off and get going it's freaking badass man So the good news is uh, I actually sold the two remaining Ferrari Testarossas and all of the parts except for the one we're going to use, which I can't exactly tell you what we're doing yet, but it's going to be pretty freaking badass. And I've still got quite a few other parts that aren't going to go with these two cars. And I have one extra 12 cylinder Ferrari Testarossa motor, which if you look, the drive shafts, uh, half shafts come out about right here and I was just doing some you know, figuring rule of thumb math. And I have a Volkswagen bus body over there that I got from uh, my guys at Iconic. And uh, I'm not an expert at this measurement stuff, but I can tell you one thing. A V12 Testarossa powered 23 window 59 Volkswagen bus, 